why? Yeah, animals love liver. Like, all all predators love liver. They will fight over liver. That's like the number one Coastal tastiest risk part. analysis reveals that someday, someone here is going to get a sizable check from the National Flood Insurance Program. I'm thinking we need to change what we have equipped to be something stronger against uh, Shambo. For example, the tail we have... <sighs> Actually, the tail does a lot of damage. No, we should keep the tail. We just gotta get good. Maybe switch this one out for something. No, we need that to actually get there. Um, shit. Never mind. Never mind. Confirmed Bex has tasty liver. No, you have a tasty liver! Whoa. Suddenly unlocked all the hunting stuff. Did he just say fuck off? I thought they were censoring everything. Most shark hunters have close friends or family members who have been eaten or happy by sharks. With little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna teleport to this one here, cause that's like way closer. I'm glad we found this one. <laughs> uh, we're gonna teleport to this one here. We're gonna go ahead and grab that. We're gonna grab these things as we go through, and then we're gonna go back and give that whale a piece of our mind. I think we can agree on that. While fears of ecological apocalypse are valid, you should see Exaco Petroleum's previous quarter's earnings. Yeah. There it is. Wait, they're searching for me? What? Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. Why are you searching for me? I, I teleported. I'm good. You... It's hunting me. I know it! No, I'm not. I'm not hunting you. I'm just chilling in my bat cave. Let's go to the I look shark. nothing like a shark That's anymore. It seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark. For, for now. now. That was weird, though. What did I do to deserve that bounty? It looks like a landmark. So I did find it. It's right here. In this Atlantis area. Museum field trip. A great way to discourage museum attendance is to put your museum underwater. Wait, what? <laughs> Of 
random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutations as a catalyst. Uh, first part was right. No, you bitch! No! Fuck off! Ancient Greeks believed that King Poseidon ruled the waters, whereas here at Prosperity Sands, they're ruled by Luxury Leisure Groups International. Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. Woo! I'm gonna go to SeaWorld! Yay! I'm just gonna kill Shamu. The white and black attack, the orca. Keep my distance. Keep mind of the things. There's plenty of food around. I just gotta not be dumb. Sharks Again, with the liver! High in vitamins A, C, and B12, plus iron and riboflavin. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Dun dun. As the terrain of the Gulf Coast is relatively flat, even a small rise in sea levels could trigger an immense loss of land. Oh shit, did I not have enough? Oh, I need more uh, of the yellow. I got plenty of yellow. And then amphibious. Switch that out. Cool. Look pretty gnarly. Okay. We need to kill enough things that we have the thing set up. We gotta fill up our little power bar. is a fluid and fascinating world. Trying Always out. Always changing. Forever in motion. Trying out the whole, let's go eat the humans for a bit. Humans are not a lot of food, but it's worth considering. Especially since fucking the sh whale will follow you into uh, the um, thing. along Caviar Key is frequently described as gin clear. Which reminds me, I could go for another Singapore sling. Do, 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 do. 
The white and black attack. The Orca. They got their fish fingers. You could say I got a real keen eye for talent. Although, the wheelers really got to work on those side areas. On the shark's oversized liver, high in vitamins A, Shut C, up and B12, about my plus goddamn fucking liver. Coastal overdevelopment creates a riskier, more complex local environment. Once you accept that our modern industrial civilization is just one among many that have risen and fallen, then you can finally surrender peacefully to our inevitable collapse. Okay. I think this is the best we can hope for, all things considered. I'm thinking we might want to try going out into the open water. The battle starts the moment we enter the arena, right? Well, if we go out into the open water, that's more space for us. It might be better if we do that. As we face impending resource scarcity and declining living standards, it's nice to know that in the meantime, there's still a place to get a good bamboo fusion massage. Like, we can't level up and come back. We are at max level. We just gotta get good. The white and black attack. The Orca. <laughs> nope. Maybe we could just leave the arena entirely when we want to. Like, it just knows where we are once we enter the arena. Ah! Its AI doesn't know how to handle this. Guys, I just found the export exploit. The AI, AI doesn't know how to handle being out here. Oh my god, yes. Guys, I figured it out. Ha <laughs> ha. 
orcas, once the featured attraction at marine mammal parks, now have a new favorite trick, killing things. Uh, the killer whale likes to kill things? Wow. Oh my god. We just had to cheese it, guys. I was thinking too hard. I was doing what the game wanted me to do. <laughs> Oh my god. A quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. Potentiality. Uh, electric shock when you ram boats. Unbreakable bone helmet. Oh god, damn. Uh, <laughs> Uh, ramming damage and all that stuff. Think, I see, I think I'm gonna go for this just because it's just pure... It's pure stats. It's all passive stats, which... really add up with all the other passive stats. Just way more useful, honestly. Overall, is what I'm trying to say. But look at us. Fuck! Do we have to get the freaky eye, too? Get us. All right. I am gonna go for the uh, shadow head because the shadow head might be useful for my style. So I don't know. Either way, we're gonna stay up in the area for a little bit longer. Anyway, because that's where all our missions are. We look kind of freaky. I don't like our eyes. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Help! <laughs> Port Clovis responds with swift retributive action. a lot of painkillers. <laughs> Shark's like, whoa. Shark eats a hippie immediately. He's like, what?
when you can't just like do your thing, you know? But humans' attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. Shark is <sighs> never one to pass up a fat fiesta. You're showing those people a circus act, and they're so ungrateful. I know, right? Up close and personal with a shark? When they did that with killer whales, everyone was happy, but with it when a just as dangerous shark does it, you the know, appetite all of, of a sudden. this shark is nearly insatiable. I, I think it's kind of speciesist, you know? Because I'm not a mammal, Only isn't it? here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love. I don't have hands, though. All right, um... Which one's the one? This one. Yeah, uh... There we go, Phibius. And we're gonna put back on adrenal gland. Just because it does more than the other things. The other things, yeah, we heal more when we eat, but it's not such a... You know what? No, I say that. It's better to heal more than... more when we eat. Now I think about it. What do we need? Uh... need this one, but... <laughs> Bone mask is sweet. I know, right? It's kind of... I don't like the eyes, but overall, pretty cool. Like, we're almost entirely bone, uh, with a few exceptions. Though, I still want to get the shadow head, just in case it's, you know, worth it. There we go. and tricks for them and they don't seem to care at all. They're like, just don't tase me, Mr. Electric Shark. I said to them, you better build that boardwalk higher because you just asking for a shark attack how you got it now. But do they <laughs> listen to me? No, not at all. <laughs> to be fair, that actually is crazy in another universe. <laughs> really compliments the eyes, my eye bones. There's some fish, the prehistoric fish that had like the same thing going on with their eyes. Does make the eyes beady, not a fan of that. Well, those are eye bones, look. Those are bones. All right, you can see it better here, see? Um, a lot, some of the prehistoric fish had these eye bones. Um, I don't know if they looked like this though. Predator overcomes prey in an impressive display of raw power. <laughs> hey! I'm enjoying the panicking people! <laughs> Any shark of appreciable size should be observed with wariness. Oh wow, you guys have the worst sunburn! Holy shit, look at these guys! They're baked alive! Oh my god! Look at them! No, 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 look at this! Holy fuck! You boys need to get some sunscreen! Holy shit! Oh my god! I've only seen one person get that fucking burned. <laughs> Holy fuck! I'm getting you guys to shore. Y'all need to get home and, and just put on all the creams, because my fucking god. 
Something's hurting me. Wait, are you guys serious? Go get some fucking sunscreen, you dips! Yeah, get! God, look at him! Jeez, oh, that's going to hurt. I know, right? They're gonna be peeling for like a whole fucking month. It's gonna be gross. They're gonna not be able to move their Whether arms. The was invented in ancient Egypt or Mesopotamia, or as my grandfather insisted by his cousin Theodore, no one can say. I mean, it's one of those things that got reinvented over and over again. Oh, there's a thing down here. Uh. <laughs> I like to see a full set of how everything works together. Part curiosity, part completionist to art. Yeah, um... Since we planned 100% this, at the end of 100%ing it, I'm just gonna equip full sets and see how they how they test drive and all that. Um... Like, I plan to do that. I just want to see how everything looks fully upgraded. Uh... Yeah, I'm curious about full sets. Well, red like lobsters. It's like I'm on... Like I'm in that boat. Oh, jeez, that's going to hurt. I get that burned. I am so pale ass that I blend. I'm not kidding you when I say this. It's happened several times. I blend in to the bottom of white pools. Like a pool with a white finish. If I go swimming, there's a greater than 0% chance that my legs look like they disappeared. And I'm not kidding, that's happened several times in my life. I also can see every fucking vein, which is not particularly fun. Um, I burn like it's nothing. Burning is something that happens so much that it doesn't mean anything to me anymore. Um, and I am, I'm also on the blush spectrum. Uh, basically, you know how if you get a tan, you turn darker on like the tan spectrum or um, I heard that there's another color that you can be that's not tan. Um, it's basically like the color you would adjust in like Photoshop or something. My color is not tan. It is blush, AKA a white red, a faded red. I am physically unable of getting a tan because I simply do not have the melanin receptors or whatever the fuck they're called. I'm probably fucking that up, but you know what I mean. So yeah. From the moment she's born, <laughs> the shark's That's cold, how pale I am. expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. I'm Kelto Norse, if that means anything, if you want to know, like, my actual heritage. So yeah, I'm white people hybridized with whiter people. <laughs> Me too, it's camouflage. There's no sunscreen strong enough. I know, right? It doesn't matter what you put on. It doesn't matter. It's better. So if you're gonna be on the beach, it's better than nothing to put something on. But it's beyond all hope, honestly. If if I'm it, most days, they don't make sunscreen strong enough. Man, this one time I'm just super glad I'm white Hispanic. <laughs> hey, me too. <laughs> Here we go. Wait. I've already been here. Pawn scum. Oh. Are these mafia guys again? The shark hunter is the only thing keeping tourists from a nasty, horrible death. Outside of just avoiding the beach for a few hours. <laughs> the game admits it. It's like you guys should just just not go in the water. It's that easy. By the way, I'd like to point out there's bodies down here. And they're not like super deep either. You fuckers have to know. Never get sunburnt, feel bad for people who do. You lucky bastard. Strong Celtic blood, weak Celtic skin. Maybe I don't know how to properly <laughs> stock and manage a fish pond, but it's a learning process. Oh my god. I I genuinely think let's see here. While we're waiting for the searching to go down. Is there a race heritage like you know the the old definition of race whiter than Celtics? I don't think it's I don't think there is. Like I think that's literally as white as you can get. Huh. Like they're the 
paler of the two. Like, even Nordics are less white, so... But they're still super white, don't get me wrong. Hmm. All that snow blood. I'm built for the snow and I live for te I live in Texas, help me! I'm a dying snowman! Keep asking my uh, Hispanic uh, son-in-law if I can borrow some melon. <laughs> It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clones. Anyway. Uh, let's go here. Where is it? Here we go. <laughs> so bitches! Hi, hi. Bye bye. Bye bye bye. Recently, Port Clovis has gained a reputation for its derivative, politically confused street art. <laughs> it's not Banksy, it's Pranksy! shark becomes a threat to human life. It's hella dark. <laughs> Yo, anything for homie? <laughs> I'm glad my community is so As friendly. As is the trend in other coastal towns, long stretches of Port Clovis's shoreline are now the exclusive domain of the wealthy. Oh, one more. Yeah. I used to skate, yeah, but they don't give you no scholarships for winning no big air rail jam. I don't know. It's Olympic now. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Please tell me you guys saw the bullshit that was the skateboarding in the Olympics this year. Okay, so if you if you don't watch it, uh, I have to point out. Well, I gotta wait for the search to go down anyway. Okay, so if you watch it, we got the skateboard guys come out, right? And some of these guys have been skating forever, you know, holy shit, it's an Olympic sport, all great, right? Cool. They get on the rails, and you can immediately tell by their faces that something is wrong. And if you watch their boards, they don't 
slide down the, the rails correctly. And there will be an inevitable rush on Dollar AKA, Drafts at Flamingo Joe's. AKA, they made the rails too sharp of an angle, and it wasn't just like one country's team. Every fucking person who went on those rails was like, wait a minute, these are not correct. And you can see it on their faces. Just just look up the footage. It's you just watch their faces and you can see them go, wait a minute, this is not correct. And then then the Japanese uh, skateboarder comes up and he does everything perfectly. And if you watch his face, he knows exactly where to go and what timing and all that shit. He had access to the skate park during the quarantine. Every other skateboard person had to use their country's skateboard parks. Keep in mind, most of them were American, so it was not a big deal for them. Um, but you can tell immediately what happened. The rails and whatever the fuck, they're not... They're either designed by Japanese-only standards, which I can see being different. It's a very mountainous country. I can see them having different standards on rail requirements and stuff. Or they're complete bullshit in measurements, and because the Japanese border knew ahead of time, he could practice around it. It, it was such a... Just, oh no. I don't know if this is the first year with Olympic skateboarding, but this is the first year where a lot of people acknowledged it. I don't know if that means it is the first, but it was just such a disaster. And I feel so bad for everyone who competed, except for the Japanese guy. Dude, which I, I put that in like, let's investigate this shit because something's wrong kind of thing. It was holy shit levels of something's wrong. No, but I saw the clip of the guy fall. Uh, which one? There were, like I said, pretty much anyone was like, wait a minute, these aren't act, these aren't correct in terms of like measurements. What did I just see? There's something. Oh, there's something down there. That's what's up. Huh. Anyway. Oh no, that's fucked and so sad. Like, a lot of people were like, holy shit about it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I? Oh my god, I can't eat them. I just gotta break them loose first. You can eat them. I thought you couldn't eat them like the others. You can eat these. Huh. That's good to know. That's so bad. I read they were too wide or something too. I don't know the exact details. I just remember I, I watched it because I told you guys I like to watch the Olympics when it's on just as noise and stuff. In fact, are they still going? I might turn them on after this. I'm feeling like watching some random sport I've never heard of. Um, and we just have them on. They're just whatever the fuck. I, we don't really care what's happening. Go USA and that's pretty much it. That's why we like them, I guess, is because we don't need to know what's happening. We just need to know fuck yeah, USA. Um, so yeah, uh, if you want, just, just look up the footage, it's supposed to be public domain, you'll probably find some, just look at the faces of everyone, ex everyone, and you will know exactly what I'm talking about. They get up on that rail, and you can see immediately they're like, the fuck? And then their board just flies right off. Their board doesn't stick at all. It's just whoop right off as if it as if there is like immediate air. Like it, they just did it at too sharp an angle or something from that footage. I don't know if there's like more details to it. If you said they're too wide, I would believe it. I'm not a boarder myself, so I don't know the details and how important stuff is. I just know, holy shit, something's up wrong with that. They need to be investigated or something. I guess the first day where the guy had to go see the medics because he landed so hard on his balls. Oh, fuck. Okay, now I need to see that footage. I didn't see that. I wonder, I was wondering if something wrong when I saw it. Yeah, no, no, no. If, you, if you've... I, I didn't see that particular clip, but if you see the footage of them just normal competing, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, everyone I saw, they, they stuck the recovery fine. I didn't see anyone get injured. But you know what? If their dimensions are fucked, I wouldn't be surprised if someone took it that bad. How long have I been going? 
I think it's because I've had a long day. I'm kind of... Well, I told you guys, I've already crashed. I'm starting to... I don't know. What's after a crash? <laughs> what, do you, what do you call a crash that you've already had? <laughs> My brain is kind of bleh. The planet's great tides encircle the globe in constant motion. Ooh. Would you guys be entirely against... What time is it? It's only midnight, shit. Um... I have... I've had one hell of a day, though. And I did an all-nighter. Um... Would you guys be upset if I cut this stream a little earlier than planned and we just finish it up in the next stream? That, that would make the next stream a clean cut. Finish the ending and get 100%. Second, third, tenth win. I don't know. <laughs> Simon Biles having to defend herself for putting her mental health ahead of the Olympics is also bullshit. I don't know about that. The bull- okay, as much as I like to put it on TV just to see everything, the Olympic organization itself is super corrupt and fucked up. Like, there's not a fucking single year where the Olympics don't do something fucked. Now, maybe it's because I'm an American and they tend to piss us off in terms of their demands of us, but the Olympic Committee is so just out of touch about what's happening in the world whenever they do shit. It's amazing. Um, like, you know why they hate, the, why they hate America? I'm not kidding. The Olympic Committee hates uh, hosting in America. You want to know why? Because a while back, and I'm not talking too far back, just a little far back, they demanded that all of the money from commercial television get, are given to the Olympics. And America went, um, no, that's not how we work. And so the Olympic, I'm, I'm oversimplifying this to the point of inaccuracy, but look it up if you don't believe me. And it's, it's that's why they like avoid getting hosted by the U.S. The U.S. still, like, does the auction shit and all that stuff like everyone else, but they tend to hate them. Um, this year, with Tokyo, uh, my sister has been caught up on how the announcer people are, like, from, from, for this Olympics, were, like, super sexist and kind of racist on, on <laughs> their shit. And it pissed off the, the mayor of Tokyo, who's a woman. It was, it's just been so much shit. It, and this was supposed to be a non-controversial year. Before, it, it's, it's funny because of how tone deaf it is. This is just one drop in the bucket. That's why it's funny. Um, it's something that no one's surprised about. Um, <laughs> I know it's bad to laugh at this kind of stuff, but I'm not kidding. It's just something that, holy shit. Um, I love the whale noise. This is so chill. Maybe not the screaming noise in the back, but this is... I really hope I can get the camera away from the shark, or at least get it in a good way. Because I kind of just want to record this for the a for uh, the game ASMRs, which I plan to start up again eventually. Um, whoops, whoops. <laughs> whoops. Oh, we look cool. Anyway, uh, sorry, I hit the controller on the on the desk because I'm actually like tilting sideways, physically. Um, I should be going to bed, so I wouldn't mind at all. I'm good with that. Yeah, I don't mind either. I'll do my best to make it to the next room. Okay. Um, it's been bad. I've been reading about that. My sister's been stuck on that. Um, she keeps bringing it up, and it's like, I think those guys have been fired. She's like, still, I have to talk about it. Um, and we're second wave feminists. We're not SJWs. We let things slide after a while. <laughs> and she's like, no, this is not okay. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's, um, she finds, she laughs as she's saying this, by the way. I make it sound like she's like super emotionally hurt. She's not. <laughs> What do you mean the souls of the damned always soothe my soul? <laughs> well, well, I got some good news for you, buddy. I literally recorded uh, Doom 3's version of Hell at some point for one of those. Um, that's besides the point. Um, but 
yeah, Olympics. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, this year, because it w- not this year, the original year, 2020, I guess. When the Olympics was going to go to Tokyo, everyone was like, fuck yeah, finally, it's going somewhere non-controversial. Usually, the Olympics goes to a city or a town that cannot handle it financially. They'll be like, oh, there's slums. Let's clear out the slums, like physically de-home the people in the slums to build this stadium we're going to use once and then abandon. If you look up There's, like, a ton of footage of urban explorers checking out places built specifically for the Olympics and places too poor to use them afterwards, and they're just abandoned. Or, or like, homeless people move in and shit like that. It's stuff like that happens all the time. Uh, And this was supposed to be a good year. And because of COVID and all that stuff now, it's, it's... like when Tokyo can't handle it now, they're they're hurting financially and all that stuff, and it, it's all gone to shit. And let's not even talk about how everything still has 2020 in the goddamn name because it'll cost money to rebuy everything with a 2021. It's really weird. Cough, cough, Rio. Rio's only a recent example. Sepia, it. Uh, I'm gonna link a video in my Discord. It's done by the internet historian, and it's about the Olympic flame. And it's literally about how everyone in the fucking world, except for like North Korea, cough cough, uh, did protests surrounding the Olympic flame. And it's not because the Nazis invented it. They're they're upset that the Olympics itself is happening. It, it's a good video, and it talks about other stuff. So I'll, I'll link that. I love the internet historian. I've mentioned him twice today. Holy shit. I get really talkative when I'm about to collapse. Okay. Uh, Beck's fact. Um, uh, I've already told you about the Olympics thing. Um, fuck, I keep thinking of these when I can't do anything about them. Oh, right now, and this actually might contribute to my being tired. Right now, I'm on the water gallon challenge where you drink a gallon of water within a 24-hour period for an entire month. Um... I stopped today because I was going to stream today and then shit happened and so on and so forth. So I haven't had a gallon of water today uh, or, you know, the last 24 hours. It's actually why I have two water bottles. Um, So I thought, okay, I've done the water gallon challenge before, but only for like a couple days, not a full month. This is the longest I've gone for about a week. Cool. This is my first day stopping the water for the sake of the stream and whatever. In this one day, my skin has decided to become the driest shit ever. And I'm just dying because of it. And I can't do anything about it (laughs) except drink more water again. I don't know what happened. Maybe my body just expects water now. But I went from like, wow, I feel great. I don't even need lotion. My skin is so soft and and moisturized. And now today I'm like, oh my God, I'm a mummy. Please help send water. I'm dying. I'm a shock. I need the water. It's funny though. I don't actually feel thirsty. I just feel dry. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Bex is now plant. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's happened, guys. My contaminated water has officially turned me into plant. Way to go. I hope it works out for you. I hope it works out. Um, uh, The short-term benefits have always worked for me. That's why I'm willing to do it again, because I know at least I'll get the short-term benefits of it. Um, But I'm hoping that I can keep it up long enough that I get the long-term benefits. But if I if I go back to square negative five in one day, like today, I don't know if I want to keep doing this. I don't know. You can drink on stream and go to the bathroom. It's okay. No, I can drink, but I refuse to go to the bathroom while streaming. I haven't done it once and I'm not going to do it. Fuck that. Okay. Um, who are we going to raid? Kaz, I promised Kaz if he was streaming, we would raid him. But I don't know if he's streaming. He is not streaming. Kaz! Kaz! Get on! I don't know if you're, if you, if you're watching, but you need to start streaming, man. Dust, yell at Kaz. Tell him to stream. Otherwise, I got Vine Sauce doing pre-recorded shit. Never mind. Uh... 
Eternal Enigma. It's been a while. Once again, though, he's super. He's big by my standards, so I don't know if I want to uh, raid him if we got someone smaller. And we got Rift Tracks, which is probably the worst option because that's it is smaller than Eternal Enigma, but it's not manned. It's it's not live. He's playing Final Fantasy. He isn't even paying attention to me. Lol. Well, it's on him. Just send him this part or whatever, and and just just tell him to watch the end of the stream because that's on him. I told him. I told him I would raid him if he was streaming. He's not. All right, stick around, guys, because we're going to raid an Eternal Enigma. Um, if you see any suspicious Twitch names, do not check out their profile. That is the current hack going on right now. Do not click on anyone's name with lo Luna or Knight or Update or click on me, please. One, two, three, or four or five. Don't click on any of those. That's the current shit right now. Do not click on them. I've banned every name I can I I've I've seen and posted online, but you don't know these days they might be adding more. So do not click any suspicious names, especially if they follow you. They've been following people, having people click on them, and then they they dox you. Okay? Look it up. Outside of that, I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you for being so understanding as I am losing my ability to breathe as I'm talking right now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming by. Please join me next time. I love you. And bye bye My mouse isn't plugged in there. It, whoa, why is it a target? Look at that. I love you.